London, the ducks, geese and hardy cold water swimmers in London's Hyde Park have a new neighbor, a monumental floating structure made from 7,506 staffed barrels colored bright red, mauve and blue, the London Mastaba, unveiled Monday. Is the latest installation by Christo, a master of supersized artworks who has previously wrapped Berlin's Reichstag in silver fabric and festooned New York's Central Park with thousands of saffron-colored cloth gates. Artist Christo unveils his first British outdoor work, a 20-meter-high installation on Serpentine Lake, with accompanying exhibition at at the Serpentine Gallery on June 18, 2018 in London, England, Tim P. Whitby, Tim P. Whitby, Getty Images The 83-year-old artist's first major creation in London rises 65 feet 20 meters above the surface of the park's Serpentine Lake. Its slope-sided trapezoid was inspired by ancient Mesopotamian benches and Egyptian tombs. The colors have been chosen to complement the lush greenery and grey-blue skies of a London summer. The sculpture, which will float on the lake until sept. 23, is accompanied by an exhibition at the nearby Serpentine Gallery tracing the barrel-based artworks Christo has created since the 1950s, often with his wife and artistic partner, Jean-Claude, who died in 2009, the purse started experimenting with paint cans and upsized to oil drums, using them to create walls, mounds and other structures both monumental and temporary. Article continued below many of their grander schemes have never been built. Others took decades. Christo and Jean-Claude first dreamed of a floating mastaba, Arabic for bench, in 1967. Initially it was to be built on Lake Michigan. Five decades later, it has finally arisen in London. Since 1977, Christo has been planning an even bigger version, a mastaba set in the Abu Dhabi desert that would be made from 410,000 barrels, rise 500 feet 150 meters, and constitute the largest sculpture in the world. Like Christo's other works, the London mastaba is temporary. At summer's end it will be dismantled and the barrels recycled, in keeping with Christo's leave no trace philosophy. For now, it floats serenely, drawing a mixed reaction from the walkers, joggers and cyclists who use the park each day. Local Lucia Halpern, who watched the work being constructed in the park over two months, said her cockapoo Coco was a fan because it keeps the ducks away and she can go in the water, but she declared herself a bit disappointed by the structure. Article continued below, the only thing I find beautiful about it is the reflection in the water, she said. Maybe that's the point. It's quite pretty when it gets the light and puts these magenta and pink colors on the water, the Bulgaria-born, New York-based Christo is unconcerned about getting divergent reviews, any interpretation is legitimate, critical or positive, he said. I'll make you think, this is why we're human, to think.